What is art? Hello everyone. When you hear that, you probably think of a museum or an art gallery. Or by chance, you are a school teacher that always wanted you to make more than you're capable of. Ah, memories. And all you think about it, probably enough, you think, eh, yes, you don't get it. How can you understand this, um, toilet? Or by chance, you think it's for intellectual people. But I got to say, perspective is a really complicated one. Well, art is for everyone, even for the one classmate that has bad, unreadable handwriting. But how can you draw this or this? Well, this is professional art. It requires skills, patience, and a lot of time to put in exercising. People spent years trying to perfect the art, have better photographic memory, and still fail to success due to lack of ideas and originality. But does a child have all those qualities? Then why are they drawing scored art? What is the definition of art? Let's Google it. What? Let's look at those definitions slowly. Art is sort of a complete pass. You don't just throw it out in the world. Someone has to catch it, said James Turrell. Yes, art is not anything if it's not shared. To convey your words to other people, feelings and beliefs, this is art. Another definitions are For what is grievous, daunting, grim about our lives is that we are shut up for feeling ourselves with an itch to get outside ourselves. And to be stolen away from ourselves by art is a momentary relaxation from that itching. I mean it's profound and as if it were secret enfranchisement, said John Galsworthy. Art is a way of recognizing oneself, which is why it will always be modern, said Louise Borgais. They meant to say that art is freedom. It isn't meant to just be a transporting device from those who experience it, but for your maker as well. It's the only way to form oneself and thus it will never be forgotten. Art is a man's constant effort to create for himself a different order of reality from that which is given to him, said Chinua Achebe. Another reality, the world of ideals and imagination, is what makes us feel distant from the ugly truth of the material world. Lastly, that leads us to art is a lie that makes us realize truth. Picasso, he said it. A lie. Art is a lie. A world of just imagination. But if we don't see the bad, how could we appreciate the good? With art, we can differentiate and make change. This word has no definition, said Ambrose Beers. Art doesn't indeed have one definition, because there are too many definitions for it to form a full one. Each art brings different emotions to different people. It is as well believed that art is everything that stirs up emotions in you. The emotions that stir up depend entirely on your own history. Everything that comes together to make up who you are. Because of that, three different people can see the same piece of art and have wildly different reactions to it. One might say it's the most beautiful thing they have ever seen, the second person might hate it, and the third may be indifferent to it. And none of them will be wrong. Where can you find art? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Everywhere. It's in songs you like, movies you watch, poems, theater, even the cute that your grandma made. It's not just a drawing. It can be a college, mosaics, photography, sculpturing, paintings, animations, even your mom's pajamas. See what I did there? Even Call of Duty is art, and in many forms too. But, is Minecraft art? And what do you think? Is this video art? Thank you for watching.